Hey, what's going on guys? Andy here. Welcome back to another pickup video. Uh, before we get started, I do have an announcement. Uh, I will be changing the name of my channel. Uh, you guys voted. Uh, it, was, uh, it was pretty pretty overwhelmingly that you guys said yes, you should definitely change it. So uh, yeah, so I'm definitely going to. There was a couple people that said I shouldn't. Um, I, I get it. Um, I get why, but uh, like I, I understand your guys' reasons why. I think it's just a good idea. Uh, it'll help with my channel growth and stuff like that. I'm not gonna get into it here, but uh, yeah. So this change is gonna take place by the end of July. I'm working on a logo and a new intro. Uh, then yeah, then I'm just gonna change it. So yeah, it's a. Uh, I think, I think it's going to be for the best. All right, with that being said, let's just jump right into the pickup, starting with this. This is a GE Space Saver. It's a CRT TV. It's a 5-inch CRT TV, which is crazy. Like, I'll grab a Vector Man, for example. Uh, a Sega Genesis cart is about the size of the screen, which is pretty... Oh, God. Which is pretty insane. So I've been wanting one of these for a pretty long time. I'm not sure why. Uh, I just saw them. I was like, that'd be cool to have, you know, just a small CRT that's pretty, pretty light, pretty portable. Uh, this is like, I can, I'm holding it up with my thumb. This may be like five pounds. Uh, but all the ones that I've seen have either been black and white with no output or they've been color with no output. Um, or black and white with outputs and stuff like that. So I wanted a small color one with outputs and I found it. So this has AV out, it's mono, which, you know, I'm cool with. Uh, it has dials for tint, color, contrast, brightness, has headphone jack. Uh, when I got this, the sound did not work. Uh, so I took it apart, I cleaned. Uh, this is the power and the uh, volume knob. Uh, it's like a petriometer or whatever they're called. I cleaned that with some contact cleaner and it worked. So very, very happy. This is only $3. I'm not going to say no. I, I saw this at the Boys and Girls Club and I was like, I'm going to buy that. Sit that right over there. Super, super happy. Uh, if you've been following my Instagram, I posted about it like five times already. So that's probably like the coolest thing I bought in quite a long time. But now on to the movies. I got a DVD and a couple VHSs. So let me go ahead and grab those. Oh god, oh god, nope, okay, maybe, maybe not, hold on, here we go, here we go, okay, <laughs> alright, starting with the DVD, we got, a, I gotta hold these so they don't fall, we got Bobby's World, which is pretty awesome, so this is only like a dollar, uh, if you have not seen this, here is the intro for that, actually, I'm just gonna leave the intro down below, my hair is getting too long, uh, which is why I'm wearing a beanie, by the way. Uh, but this is the Scratch and Sniff episodes. Uh, it does not have the Scratch and Sniff card, uh, which, as of right now, no, I'm pretty okay with that. Uh, but yeah, so this has Howie Mandel. Uh, if you've never seen it, like I said, I'll leave the intro link down below. I have no idea what this is, but uh, it says it's the sequel to The Wind in the Willows. This is The Willows in Winter. And I don't think I've ever seen this or heard of it, so I was like, I'll pick it up. So all these VHSs were by way government free. So and this came out in '97. Went ahead, got that. Then I picked up two uh, breakfast. Or er, I did this last time I tried filming this. I said it. Uh, not breakfast club. The babysitters club. I picked up two of those. Uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not very big into the Babysitter's Club. But I would get one free though, and I didn't have them, so I picked them up. And then, I'm pretty sure I already have this one, but I picked it up anyways. And that's a Zubili Zoo. I don't know if that's how you say it. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure I have this one. I don't, I'm pretty sure it's the same exact one. Uh, but I picked this up as well as from 87. 87. A little, a little bit older than me. Uh, then... I've seen, I've seen this show a couple times. Scoot up a little bit. Uh, and that is McGee and Me. So, pretty cool. I picked up four of these. Uh, I picked a, a Back to the Drawing Board. Uh, the Not So Great Escape. 
uh, the big lie and skate exception. So I picked all these up. Uh, these were, you know, buy one, get one free, 50 cents a piece. Can't really beat that. And yeah, uh, these are actually on YouTube as well. So I'll leave an episode link down below as well. Then probably the most unique VHS I've ever found in my life. It is The Biggest Bears, a musical adventure from Alaska. So this is a musical bear documentary. Uh, it's on YouTube. It is... Interesting. I'll say it's interesting. I'll leave it linked down below as well. So I saw this, I was like, what in the world is this? Uh, I, I really like the font and the color. That's mainly why I bought it. But probably the best VHS I've bought in, in a very long time is this South Park Bigger, Longer, and uncut. If you look at it, you can be like, that looks very strange, very blurry. Here, I'll, I'll move it a little bit closer. It looks terrible. Uh, as soon as I saw the side, I was like, oh, it's a bootleg. Sure enough, opened it. It's definitely 100% a bootleg. And just to confirm it, whoever either made this or got it was just like, just a heads up, this movie is great, but this bootleg sucks. So I'll try to, yeah. Um, I'm gonna have a separate video on this because I've never come across a bootleg VHS in all, I don't know how long I've been doing this, like five or six years. I've not come across a bootleg VHS and I found one. So I'm super excited to see how awful this is. What's next? All right. All right, up next we have a book slash media. I don't know. Uh, I'll just start off with Windows 98 for Dummies. Grab this. This was $12.50. No, 12, 12 and a half cents is what this was. Uh, so I picked this up. And then I picked up Animorphs, which I wasn't like the biggest Animorphs fan. Um, I mean, it's cool. You know, uh, I, I dig it. Uh, there's more goosebumps, stuff like that. But Animorphs is great. Um, it, it, I, I enjoyed it. I did. I really did. Then I picked up uh, Brian's Return. It's a little beat up, but I'm only missing like, I think two more of these books by Gary Polson. This is part of the Hatchet set. Um, I, I absolutely love these books. So every time I see one, I pick it up. Then I don't remember if I showed these off or not. I don't remember when I got them, but uh, I got Living Books. So this is something uh, when I was in elementary school, uh, we used to you know have all the time on the computers. They're just books, like interactive books. So I've been looking for a few of these. So uh, I picked that one up. Um, and then I picked up Arthur's Thinking Games, which is Unfortunately, not for Mac. Uh, it's for Windows 98 and 95, uh, but I'm cool with it, you know. So, pick these up. Uh, these are like 50 cents a piece or something, something like that. And then, I used to see this all the time, all the time at the book fair. Maybe I should make a video about going to the book fair and just like, just how awesome it was. But it's uh, this scholastic. Scholastics <laughs> Green. <laughs> I'm just gonna show it. It's this. Uh, you make ancient Egypt. Uh, it's a it's a craft kit. So this is like brand new. It was two dollars. Uh, this was like a ten dollar thing back in the day. Um, yeah, it was it was ten dollars. So by the time like I bought all my books and everything, or had all my books picked out, I was like. Well, I kind of want this, but I can't afford it. Uh, now I have it, so it's pretty cool. Actually, I think I know someone that might like this a little bit more than me. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I think I might save this. All right, now on to the games. Uh, got some pretty awesome stuff. So my stepbrother and I, we did a small little trade. Um, he's actually moving, so I was like, hey, I know you have some PS2 games and stuff. Like, that you like never play like if you want to trade or sell them 
uh, like I'm totally down with that. And he was like, sure. So I traded my, uh, I had a Logitech webcam, which I realized I don't use and he's been using it. So I was like, I'll trade you that. Um, traded my GoPro, uh, then uh, yeah, like a Logitech, like universal remote thing. It, it's pretty cool. It, it's awesome. But I got a pretty sweet deal. So uh, I'll show you guys real quick. So I got all these. Uh, so we got here a 2DS. Have pulled that out. It's just a, uh, a blue 2DS, which I've been wanting like a 2DS for some reason. So like I said, it's just a blue one. It's been used like a little bit, uh, and it came with Pokemon Heart Gold, which is pretty rad. Can't go wrong with Heart Gold. I think I have. I think I have that one. I might have Soul Silver. I'm not sure. So I got that with. Also, this pretty, pretty little dope carrying case. Uh, we got Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D uh, Nintendo Select. It is a brand new. It's sealed. If it'll, it might not focus, but it's it's brand new, which is awesome. Uh, we got these two brand new Wii games. The Conduit, never never played it. And then Curse Mountain, again never played it. Never even heard of these two. Again, these are sealed, brand new. So that's pretty dope. Uh, we got some GameCube stuff, and I'll, I'll just show off the Wii stuff first. Uh, we got new Super Mario Bros. Wii. Uh, I do not have this. I've actually been wanting to play this, so pretty pretty happy I got that. Resident Evil: The Umbrella, Umbrella, <laughs> The Umbrella Chronicles. Uh, so got that. Uh, all those are obviously complete because you know the other two are brand new. Uh, then some GameCube games. We got Resident Evil, this is not a GameCube game, that is a PS2 game, whatever. Uh, Resident Evil Outbreak, uh, again, this is a complete, pretty awesome. Uh, then we have some GameCube stuff. We got Resident Evil Zero, Resident Evil. Again, these are complete. Uh, then, uh, we have Super Smash Bros. Melee. Uh, this is just a case. Uh, no game. Uh, we looked through all the games, couldn't find it, so I was like, I'll take it. I mean, I already have it, but if I ever find the game loose or something or a case that's like completely busted, I can just switch it into this. So that's cool. Then probably the best game, Silent Hill 2 on PS2. So pretty, pretty damn awesome. It's complete. It even has his receipt when he bought it used for $17 at a GameStop. So that's pretty dope. Uh, it goes very well with my, if I can pull it out, a Silent Hill 3 that uh, I got at Goodwill for, if I'll focus, $3. Not bad. Not bad. So happy I have both of these. I just need the first one. And yeah, so that'll, that'll be awesome. So yeah, so that's everything that I got. Those are the pickups. Uh, oh, I did pick up one more VHS. It's not here. It's Double Team. It's a Disney Channel original movie. Here's a picture of it. I uh, paid $9 for it, which I think is relatively fair. Every time I see it on eBay, it's like $20 to $30. So I was like, nine bucks. I'll take it. So pretty cool. But let me know in the comments down below, what did you guys pick up this week? Also, don't forget, I will be changing the name of my channel. I'm going to make a whole separate video announcing that as well. And I'm going to say in every video that I make until the change actually happens. So this way you guys are fully aware. This way you guys know. I'll even post about it. But with that being said, you guys rock. Stay rad. I'll see you guys next time.